Do you need a financial planner? What do they do and should you have one? Now I know what you're thinking, hey, this guy's a financial planner, so he's going to tell me that I need one. Well, not necessarily, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, what does a financial planner do? Well, that depends. Many individuals refer to themselves as financial planners, but not all perform true multi multidisciplinary financial planning. Investment, insurance, and tax professionals sometimes specialize in certain areas of financial planning, such as retirement planning, estate planning, tax planning, or investment management. In general, individuals who call themselves financial planners aim to help you plan for your goals and needs and improve your unique financial situation. So what doesn't a financial planner do? Well, a financial planner cannot make you a thriftier shopper, a better saver, or help you earn more money. Ideally, he or she will look at your financial big picture and help you work to enhance it via money management. Depending on their credentials, they may recommend specific investments, long-running investment strategies, insurance options, retirement planning, risk management methods, and more. So who needs a financial planner? If you have some significant assets built up, like a home or retirement fund, savings, etc., and are wondering about how to protect and or grow those assets, you're probably ready for a financial planner. If you currently live paycheck to paycheck or have less than $10,000 combined in your investments and savings strategy, then you're probably not yet in need of a financial planner. What you should do is research saving strategies and take a good look at your spending habits so that you can begin to build your wealth at a faster pace. So how much does it cost? Well, that's a tricky question. First of all, the cost of hiring a financial planner can vary depending on who you hire, where they're located, and what type of fee structure they use. A fee-only financial planner earns a flat fee, hourly or otherwise, for their services. A fee-based planner generally prefers to charge advisory fees, often 1% to 2% annually on the assets under management for his or her services rather than commissions linked to investments or product sales. A commission-based planner typically receives the total percentage of his or her income in upfront commissions, and therefore some may feel that they have little incentive to service you on an ongoing basis. Often, families who work with a commission-based financial planner wonder if the advice they are given is best for them or the advice that will ensure the commission-based planner receives the most commission. In most cases, your initial meeting with one of these professionals will be free of charge, but be sure to ask in advance about this. And you can discuss fee schedules and compensation arrangements at that time, and I'd highly recommend you to do that because not nearly enough people do. So how do you choose a planner? In two words, ask questions. Ask trusted friends and colleagues for referrals. Sit down with any planner you're considering and find out how long they've been in the business and what their credentials are, how they operate, etc. Most importantly, make sure if and when you hire a planner that your personalities will mesh. This is someone you may well be working with the rest of your life and you should choose to work with someone you feel comfortable with. Most people believe that a financial planner is going to make sure your investments always go up and go up at a rapid pace. Let me be the first to burst that expectation. Returns are going to be what returns are going to be. The most important job a financial planner has is to help manage your expectations and keep you from making mistakes that you may not be able to recover from. We like to refer the, to this as risk management. Of course, that does mean that their job is to guide you in where to place your funds so that your funds will do what you need them to do. But a good financial planner is not someone that you're going to meet with once and never see again. So make sure you like their personality and can work with them because you'll be spending a lot of time with them over the years. I'm Pete Mitchell 
and I look forward to sharing more on the markets and your money with you later.